Hello, it's Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is to create an enemy health bar. As you can see, you get green health bars above the skeletons. If I shoot them, the health will go down. Hit it enough, it will eventually be destroyed. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, at this time. Now, The first thing you need to do is make sure you have a uh, monster object created. And I've got that created and the key to this is setting up two variables so that we can keep track of two things. One of them is the current health of your skeleton and the other one is your maximum health of your, of your skeleton in this case. So in the create event you're going to drag in two set variables. One of them is going to be called HP and you get a, a value of 10. Uh, the 10 is how many times you want to be able to hit it before it dies. The second variable, you have to drag it after this first one, is called the maximum hit point. So the variable is called max HP, and the value is going to be HP. So the 10 was your, was your hit points, and so that sets the maximum hit points to the hit points that you currently set up. Now after that's done, you need to have a collision event with whatever you are shooting at the monster. So in this case, I shoot a bullet. When the bullet hits the skeleton, I drag in another set variable so that the HP uh, gets subtracted one and you check relative so it subtracts one from its current HP. So the HP gets hit once, it goes from 10 to 9, gets hit again, it goes from 9 to 8 and so on. Uh, after that it destroys instance of other which means the bullet gets destroyed so the bullet doesn't continue to go through the uh, skeleton hit it multiple times. Now, in this audio, I've got an impact. I did that in a previous tutorial. You don't need to have that. But you also need to have this with the monster destroyed. You need to check. You need to add in a test variable. So you put in variable HP, value zero, smaller than. So this says if HP is smaller than zero, then it'll destroy instance of self. And that's how the skeleton will be destroyed. So now let's go to the draw event. The draw event is what makes this whole health bar, uh, enemy health bar happen. Now anytime you do a draw event, you have to draw the sprite of your object in this uh, event. So we have to draw the, the variable skeleton relative to the object location, keep subimage at zero, or at negative one, and the x and y at zeros. What we do is we draw, uh, to make the health bar, we draw three different rectangles. So we set a color of a red for our first rectangle. And we're going to draw our rectangles with these uh, dimensions. So our x1 will be 0, x2 will be 30. So what that means is it's going to be 30 uh, pixels wide from 0 to 30. So our y value will be negative 5 and it will end at 0. So it'll be five pixels wide and it'll be filled. We check relative so it draws it relative to your skeleton's object. Then we set a green color and I'll show you the dimensions of that here in a second. Then we set a black color and we do the exact same uh, X and Y settings for that one but we check instead of filled we check outline so it draws a black outline around it. Now here's where the, the magic happens for this one we want the uh, green rectangle to get smaller as the hit points decrease. So in the x2 value we put in this formula. In parentheses we put in a 30 divided by max HP, put another round of parentheses and multiply it by hit points. This sets up a proportion that will proportionally decrease the size of the green rectangle revealing more of the red, tangle, red rectangle behind it and in essence giving us a monster hit points as we showed at the beginning. And that's it. So thank you. Make sure to check out my webpage at uh, Brit Tech Tutorials and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial.